folks. Welcome to my shop. So as some of you may know, I've been utilizing a large ceramics kiln to do the heat treating on my blades. And that has been working great. I built a fit controller box for it, holds accurate temperature. There's a video all about it. The issue that I was having was it takes a little while to heat up and it takes up a lot of space. And I have to have a large area of separation before I feel safe bringing that thing up to uh, full temperature in my shop. So I wanted a more compact unit. I wanted a bench top unit. So I built one. And I didn't take the time to share that with you yet because I, I was kind of just into the build. And uh, I didn't want to take away from that while I was engaged in that project. Um, it works great pretty flawless. Um, I had thought that I was going to be able to utilize it for tempering as well, and I have used it. The only issue is the time that it takes to drop from the austenizing temperature, the quenching temperature, to the tempering temperature. Uh, so the plan is to build a dedicated tempering oven that will be more accurate than my kitchen oven or a toaster oven that I previously utilized. So I'm going to take the components from the pit controller box that I've been using for the large kiln and fit that to a toaster oven that I picked up for the great price of zero and see what we can do. So let's take a look. Well, here's the new heat treat oven. I'll do a video going over this thing next time I utilize it. Here's its predecessor. Now this unit works great. Like I said, it, it does the job. It heat treats knives. And with the pit controller box, it maintains the temperature. Here is the toaster oven. And the PID controller box with the components that I will attempt to utilize to make this toaster oven a more accurate unit. So let's go over that. All right. So here's my PID controller box. To put it simply, it's a small computerized device that utilizes input that it receives from a thermometer and outputs that to whatever unit you hook it up to. It's a proportional integral derivative device that regulates either power output or it shuts the unit off and on to help maintain specific temperatures. Connected to this single stage relay, this SSR, Right, which is initially just a switch that receives information from the PID. The power comes in, it receives a, receives a signal, and then allows that power to transfer out into the unit. Whether the unit is reducing the amount of power that goes out to it, or is just shutting it off and on to maintain temperature. And what I'll need to do is switch this unit over from the um, 220 or 240 that it's hooked up to to work with the toaster oven that is 110. So let's look into that. Wiring is probably going to be overkill, but it'll work.
This was too big. This will be better. All right, so now it's time to open this thing up and try to disconnect or bypass the digital controller for the element. It's uh, maxed out at 450. Man, I'd like to be able to get a little bit more heat out of it. I know that that might be pushing it past its limitations, but I'm doubting that. I'm gonna try it anyway. I don't really know what any of this stuff does. Let's see if I can't figure it out. Again, disclaimer, I am not an electrician. Um, what I ended up doing was I bypassed the element going into the digital controller on the oven itself. And I've just got the straight power going to the element. And that's wired into control box. Everything's kind of chaotic right now because I'm still in testing phase. But right now what we've got is fan running, digital controller running, and the temperature is climbing. We'll come back when we know more. So you guys saw that I switched out this cord. Um, the other one was just kind of too cumbersome, too big, was in the way. That was making things difficult. I Switched out the switch for the single pole. The other one was a two pole, and um, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to make it work. I'm sure some electrician will tell me that it was super easy, and all I had to do was da 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 da, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, ended up smoking a a plug. Um, I yeah, obviously I crossed some wires because again, I'm not an electrician. Um, so I hooked this one up, and uh, so yeah. I think we're ready to turn it on and see if we get smoke.
She's on. All right, well, obviously, you know, I've already turned it on, but um, got it hooked up. Got my cooling fans. They're all wired in. Things are functioning. We'll be back with a progress report. Temperatures are climbing. So far, so good. Nothing smoking that's not supposed to be smoking. Elements are hot. All right. So we've neared that set value. Again, this is the, the set value. This is the perceived value that the device is getting from the thermocouple that's hooked up to the toaster oven. This little light that's blinking off and on here indicates that the SSR is it's turning the power off and on to try to dial that up to where it needs to be. So it's a combination. I've got this set up so that it's not only turning off and on, but it's also cutting power or the amount of power. So that'll slowly come up to temperature. We'll come back when she's holding. Well, obviously not too exciting in video form, but there she is, nice and stable, holding temperature. You will get some slight fluctuations. It'll go up a degree or two, drop a degree or two, but for the most part, it'll hold it right there. Now for knife making, for tempering process, that's about as accurate as you need to get. Again, my thermometer's right in there, right in the zone where my knives will be hanging out. And this bad boy here will hold the temperature. Sweet. Ta-da! All right, folks. Well, she's done. Fully functional. Bid controller's all hooked up. Wired up for the 110. This unit runs off of. I got the thermal couple hooked up in the back. Right in the center. Felt that would give me the most accurate temperature. It comes in right where the tray's at. That way the knives are sitting right in that zone. Um, pit controller box. Yeah, it can be kind of intimidating. A computerized device. I'm not a computer guy, but they're pretty straightforward. And there's a lot of guys on YouTube already that have um, gone over those in pretty good detail. Um, Barling Hops Brewing, uh, Redbeard Ops, he's a knife maker. He goes over it in great detail for this application. So I'm not really going to do that. We looked inside the box. I got another video where you see inside the box. They're pretty straightforward. They're plug and play. Um, there is some parameter setting stuff that you have to do with the computer system. And that can be kind of... Uh, scary but again uh, once you get it kind of figured out and uh, dial that process in it's a plug and play toaster oven plugs directly into this which is hooked up to this computer I flip the switch my set value my perceived value this is like take number three you guys can see the units already heated up 222 degrees this light here indicates that the SSR is open, giving full power to the unit. So I did disconnect the controls for the toaster oven, and I wired the elements directly to the um, power coming in. And I checked first to make sure that this wasn't regulating power at all. When uh, the elements are on, they were getting the full, full juice. Again, disclaimer, not an electrician. So, I just wanted to share my application and, you know, how easy this really is to kind of dial in. Um, don't be scared of it. Do a little bit of research. You know, um, you could, a lot of guys, just take all of this and put it right in here. I was worried about doing that. I thought, you know, that this thing gets fairly hot and I didn't want to burn everything up. The SSR is kind of heat sensitive, so I didn't do that. Um, for, for me, the box was easier to do. Uh, next time I'll probably go with a bigger box. Fitting all that stuff in there is kind of a pain, but yeah, it works. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I really like the accuracy that I can get for my heat treat. You know, that it just gives you better performance. And it 
when you can dial your numbers in and be certain about your recipe without having to taste it. Um, thanks a lot for your guys' time. Appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching. If you're into that thing, please smash that little button down there or up there or wherever it's at. See you next time.